Hello there, Kiss Emily here. Guess what? We are wrapping up 2021. This is my last video to you before this year ends. Imagine the next time I speak to you, we will be in 2022. I'm so excited for what's to come. Um, I have taken some time to really just plan out my business plan for 2022. My business plan includes my life plan. Actually, my life plan and then inside my life is the business plan. I have actually ran a workshop on vision, creating a vision for the next year or creating a life plan and a business plan. So this is actually one of my favorite topics. So this has less to do with real estate, even though real estate is kind of built into what I'm about to share with you. I just hope that you have created or have started the process of planning 2022. Some people call it a new year's resolution. Some people call it new year, new me, new what have you, right? Um, I hope that you are have taken the time or will take the time to really put your plans together so that 2022 will be off to a great start and it can start now it doesn't have to start on january 1st i want to wish you and your family a fantastic 2022 may it be filled with everything that you hope for that you wish for may it fill you with uh, fresh new energy, um, a great perspective, a positive perspective, and tons and tons of feelings of gratitude. Uh, I know that I am. Uh, there just so much has been so much going on, right, in our world that is really literally beyond our control that um, you have to look for what you could be grateful for um, to continue to to find joy and peace in your heart. I literally just had a, um, a transaction that was quite difficult it was bumpy it, it was like one wrong thing after another it wasn't on my side it was on the other side and it literally we just got great news today that oh my gosh the loan funded the property went on record a new family is going to be moving in um, I hope that they know that they are so lucky and blessed by so many experts that have surrounded them to, to make this happen. And I'm so excited to the moon for my client, uh, the seller who um, had been so gracious and had been so patient and to allow for, for the space for all of us technicians and experts to get this done. Boy, that wasn't easy. I feel like once a year I have one of those really difficult uh, transactions that is like dangling at the edge and it almost didn't happen and it would come together at the end and this was the one right before the end of the year so have you thought about in terms of planning for 2022 there are different areas of your life that you could plan for for example health is it you know being toner living healthier maybe losing some weight maybe gaining some muscles whatever that may be right could it be the area of finance you know how would you um invest or plan for your future could real estate be one of them hmm could it be you know targeting an investment property maybe using the equity that you have now in your home and target into purchasing another investment property it could be a rental right maybe i i know that i'm working with uh, a few clients that their children are going to college out of town. So you're gonna pay rent or somebody's paying rent for the dorm or for the apartment or wherever they're gonna be staying in. Have you considered using the equity that you have and maybe putting it as a down payment and then actually own the house? So instead of paying somebody else mortgage, you're paying your own mortgage so that, and then maybe you could put another student tenant in there and for them to help subsidize the rent. How about that? subsidize your mortgage, right? Could it be the area of your career? Are you considering a career change, right? Like I know right now I'm interviewing for a part-time assistant and I see a, a movement of people making career shifts. You know, they, they had never been in the real estate industry, but now they're interested in looking into real estate. Whatever that career may be, maybe are you, are you looking at developing new skills, new trade skills, so that you can further your professional endeavor in another area are you looking at maybe downsizing 
and moving into a smaller home? Maybe are you looking for moving to a larger home? These are all goals, right? These are all part of your 2022 plan. With the plan, you got to have action steps that would lead you to that outcome, right? Is it relationship? Is it having a more connected type of relationship? I know that that's important for me, especially the environment that we've been in for the last couple of years. Connectedness is even more important. I just um, treasure the time that I just had with my family during Christmas, um, our small, tiny little gathering, right? What is it that's important to you? That What areas you would like to really focus in on and make it better? Is it relationships within your family? Um, I know that I am grateful for the relationships that I've had with our two sons. One is in college and one is uh, towards the end of high school. And my husband, you know, we're, we're a team and um, it means a lot that I know that I'm surrounded by people that who love me and who want who want to do uh, what is best for all of us as a family unit. This is Kasama Lee signing off for the rest of the year. Happy New Year to you and your family. Thanks for having been here as the audience. And I'll see you next year.